In this course, I'm going to be migrating this custom character rig to an advanced skeleton rig. I created this rig back in 2023. It functions reasonably well, but it lacks refinement in some very important areas. Advanced Skeleton is a powerful rigging tool that offers a plethora of animation-friendly features, and it is also optimized to perform a lot better out of the box. Even though Advanced Skeleton is capable of providing a fully functional production rig, I still have some custom rigging solutions that I want to count on for the completion of this rig. I also have to take into consideration my end cloth solution for this character. All rig deformations should not hinder or trap cloth simulations. And while we're on the topic of clothing, I want to point out that the only objective of this rig will be to provide high quality and appealing anatomical deformations that are best suited for this character's stylized design. So what that means is the rig will not be tasked with deforming any clothing articles, footwear, or additional appendages other than the character's tail and ears. This approach to designating clothing, footwear, and prop simulations to end cloth and other dynamic systems will make for a more lightweight and responsive rig that isn't overloaded with complex rigging systems. It will also allow for more rigging resources to be designated to not so common anatomical deformations that will help bring the character to life during animation. I must mention that this character does have two other props that will be rigged with separate advanced skeleton instances and brought into the main character rig file to be parented to the character. Those two props are her sunglasses and her headphones. This rig also has to be ready to accommodate any wardrobe changes for the character. If you've been keeping up with my dance animation course, you probably know that course is on hiatus until this rig is complete. When the rig is done, it will be utilized in that course with a handful of other end cloth driven outfits to complete the dance animation for that course. Also, when this rig is done, it will be made available to members of my fourth patron tier. I'm going to go over a summary of the upcoming lesson plan. The first thing on the docket is the preparation of the character model for advanced skeleton. Setting up the main skeleton and its controls comes next. Next, I'll take the time to show proper skinning techniques for a bipedal character. The face rigging setup is next. I'll walk through advanced skeletons fitting and building process. Right after that, I'll troubleshoot the face rigs skinning because it is unlikely that the first result will be perfect. From here, it'll be time to move on to the next significant part of this course, corrective deformation. I'm going to perform close to 30 corrective anatomical deformations to help bring the character to life when she moves. Next, I'll be resolving her nails and fangs with a custom control solution. This character has articles of clothing and props that require simple articulation and that will not benefit from being simulated with end cloth. Focusing on their wrap deformations will be next. Incorporating the enabling and disabling of these expensive wrap deformations into the main advanced skeleton control system will be an important part of this phase of the course. This functionality will allow me to animate the rig without the expense of the wrap deformers computing in real time. The rigging of the headphones and sunglasses will conclude the rigging of the entire character. Setting up her sneakers to simulate with end cloth comes next. The jacket and the jeans have already been set up to simulate with end cloth. If you want to see how I did that, you can check out my simulating sculpted clothing in Maya with end cloth course. Some additional work will be done to simplify the jacket and the jeans cloth rooms in this course. Since the end cloth jacket and jeans are no longer connected to the main rig, a lot of additional functionality that I added can be eliminated. So in this course, I will only go over the process of setting up the sneakers with end cloth. This will be a very important lesson or a handful of lessons that I'm looking forward to sharing with you all. I will then close out the course with a rig cleanup an advanced skeleton embedded body 
and face picker design and a review of the shelf tools that will ship with this character. At the end of the course, I will also share a final video of the distributable files that will be accessible to members of my fourth patron tier. All right, so that's it for this course overview video. In the next lesson, I'm going to discuss knee solutions and which of these solutions would work best for this character. See you in the next lesson.